Hey everyone, this is Pastor Matt. And I'm Pastor Emily. We want to welcome you guys. We are in the heart of Hot Springs, Arkansas at Lakeview Assembly. We've been pastors here for a little over five years, and we are here to invite you to Sons and Daughters Conference 2023. I remember being at a dinner table with Tommy Tenney about three years ago, and as we're beginning to talk about this idea of just uh, spiritual sons, spiritual daughters, spiritual fathers, spiritual mothers, this just kind of healthy dynamic of discipleship and, and really seeing a family paradigm within the church as a, as a healthy model to help people grow and, and hit their potential. Um, I remember us talking about it and it was right in the heart of COVID. The world was just turned upside down. We didn't even know if we were ever going to get to meet again or anything. <laughs> And uh, and so I brought it up, and I was so excited about it, and and uh, I was like, "Well, you might even come to this." Like, uh, but then the world's kind of settled back in, and and uh, as we've been praying about it, I remember this year, it seemed like we just woke up, and the idea never died. It just continued to kind of burn in our hearts, and became. I think it was after our fast in January. We fasted oh, that's for right. 21 days. And That's there was right. a, a period of time there where we were just uh, all in focused on the Lord and waiting for him to speak. And I think that's when he revealed to us that this was the year that yeah. this was, it was supposed so weird. to happen. Well, we both looked yeah. at each other and we go, it's time. Yeah. It was so weird. It was like we just got released from the Lord. So, so we're so excited about this conference because we know the Lord's in it and his timing is always perfect. And uh, so this journey of just relationships with having these key people, spiritual fathers and mothers in our life um, in times where we felt maybe stuck, tired, burnt out. Where do we go from here? And there's all these pioneers that have gone before us that said, oh, you're not stuck. There's a whole other avenue of possibility yeah. out there. And then just like the whole world opens up to you and you're like, oh my goodness. And you begin to dream again. You begin to get excited like the glass ceiling over your life breaks and you realize there is no lid with God. He's like uh, doing all this tremendous stuff and it and it all comes through these relationships. Yeah, the divine, uh, the defining divine, piece is oh my gosh, yes. spiritual parents. Yes. You said something that sparked my mind. Uh, you said that this has been in the works for about three years, but in reality, that's when the idea came to us from Holy Spirit. But I know Holy Spirit was working out this, um, the plan for this conference, this moment where we're supposed to all be together and God do something really amazing. I think that started before it even came to us. Maybe share with them what happened before oh my that. Goodness, yeah. Three years before the, sure. the five years ago when we came here. Yeah, I, I hit a crisis. Yeah. And, uh, and you got a front row seat for it. But what I thought was a crisis was actually the Lord expanding my horizons and stretching me and growing me in so many ways. And so he had me step down from a church that I loved with people I loved. And I thought a door was gonna magically open and I was gonna leave that church and go to another church. Instead, I went on a nine month journey nine with the Lord with didn't know where I was gonna go. Every door shut in my face. And Definitely I just thought, our faith journey. I just started. thought I just thought I'm losing my mind. I thought I was yeah. having like some kind of crazy breakdown. And it was like the Lord was showing me that my identity was so wrapped up in my position that I didn't know who I was as a son of God. That I didn't know who he was as my father. Mm -hmm. And so he had to distance me from position in order to unravel how much identity I had in being Pastor Matt. Right. And I thought it was, and, and it was a good thing. It wasn't like it was bad, but it kept me from being healed, vulnerable. I had insecurities and just all these things. It's like the Lord just put me on this operating table and just begin to cut these things out that needed to go. And it was just in this nine month journey where the Lord just revealed to me that he is our father and that I'm his son and that that's enough. And from that place, doing ministry to other people, uh, uh, for other people, reaching out. It just it, it just changed that whole paradigm. So I started seeing God as a good father for the first time in my life. And then when I started seeing God as a good father, he started putting all these spiritual fathers yes. in my life. That Matt had prayed for, that we had I'd prayed, prayed for. I prayed for since I had been saved. For yeah. I, I got saved when I was 22, and I had prayed and prayed and prayed, but 
But I think what the Lord, the revelation the Lord was waiting on me to get to was to see him as a father. Otherwise, I would have manipulated those relationships and used them for my advantage. And I wouldn't have leaned into them and learned and been able to glean what I was supposed to glean. Yes. So it was like, so that nine month that seemed like just a stripping, God was actually equipping me to prepare me for the big thing he was wanting to do uh, for the next few years in our life up to now. And so me and him, whenever you find something good, you just want to share it with everybody. Yeah. And so that's the heart of the conference yeah. for me and Elm right here is that we found something so precious, so valuable that we just said, we have got to get all this treasure in the room and then get other people in the room and yes. just see what Holy Spirit wants to do and just share these people that have poured into our lives with other yes. people because if it's catapulted us, it's gonna catapult them. So our speakers and leaders and ministers that are coming to this conference are our spiritual mother and fathers. We've got Todd and Cindy Mooring coming from Baytown, Texas. We've got, do you wanna share your spiritual parents? Yeah, that are for coming? sure. Yeah, we got Tommy and Jeannie Tenney yes. are gonna be coming, author of God Chasers and uh, 20 other books yeah. and, and different Worldwide things. Worldwide ministry. Well, and then I've struck up this mentorship relationship with an author named Frank Viola, who's a best selling Wall Street Journal, best selling mm -hmm. author. And um, through a strange event, he reached out and reached out to 10 other pastors throughout the whole nation. And I was one he reached out to. And uh, I joined a year-long mentorship and then went to a gathering in Orlando, Florida. And just we just created this bond and just the truths and different things I learned from him. Yeah. Um, I was like, man, I got to share. I, I just want to share this with, with everybody. <laughs> so so like, we're actively walking this out. For sure. Um, submitting to our spiritual mother and father. So we're learning how to be sons and daughters. And we found such treasure in that. Um, such wonderful um, equipping um, and encountered God even in a deeper way as being submitted as sons and daughters. And so we want to show others um, how important it is in kingdom work, in ministry, as a leader, um, as an upcoming leader, or maybe you've been in ministry for 20 years and you've, you know, you've been lacking that peace, you know, that relationship, and you don't know how to find it. Um, and maybe this is God speaking to you right now as you're watching this saying, hey, I need this. This is the missing component. I've felt lost or I've felt stuck or I felt like I've, I'm in a waiting room in my ministry. And this is the component that's been missing that's going to help propel you forward. And so Holy Spirit maybe is speaking to your heart right now saying, this is, I need to go to this room. I need to be in this room. Uh, this weekend in November of 2023, I need to be here because there's a divine, divine appointment for me. Um, and God's just going to do something really miraculous and wonderful and uh, just teach us how to be sons and daughters. And then furthermore, teach us how to be mothers and fathers so we can disciple others into this kingdom concept. For sure. And, and those are our headline speakers. We got breakout sessions. Yes. We've got a lot of different stuff. Too much yeah. to, to pack into this. But we just want to kind of give you the, you know, the, yes. the brunt of it right so now. So who are we inviting to this conference? So here's, I, I'm thinking pastors, yes. leaders, people in the marketplace that have influence yeah. that are it's for you, that are for feeling sure. like, okay, how do I, how do I influence? How do I leave a legacy? And, and so what I'm learning is, is that when I'm learning to be a good son, it's training to be a father. Yes. So if I'm in the son stage now, at some point I'm gonna come into the father stage where yes. I'll be a spiritual father and I can bring that influence because I've been a good son, I know what it is to be a good father. Yes. And that, so it, it's just all working together. So I could see um, young people, students, teens. Um, I, see, I just wanna see this generational piece come together. So maybe if you're a pastor, you're watching this and you've already thought of three or four or 10 people in your church that you're like, I need to take these people to this conference, bring them, bring them. It is not limited to pastors. Um, we would love to have your teams here. Yeah, pastors, staff, yeah. Uh, your volunteer leaders. I mean, I mean, we, we don't want to limit it. We want the Holy Spirit to speak to you yes. and really and really guide you. and. Yeah, 
in being a Get part of this. Get you in the room, see what happens. Yeah, for sure. And that's what we've learned. If <laughs> yeah. we make space for Holy Spirit and we get in the room yeah. with the right people and the Mirror right in ingredients, will, just miraculous stuff begins to happen. So the conference is the weekend of November 9th through 11th. Yeah. So here in Hot Springs at Lakeview Assembly. And we would love for you guys to go ahead and register now. We've got something uh, really cool for you. If you register now, we've got a promo going on. You can go online and put in the promo early. And you get uh, until October 15th, you'll get 10% off of your registration. And so we just want to encourage you guys to go ahead, get signed up, get it on your calendars because we know how busy life gets. We know how fast our calendars fill up as leaders and ministers. So go ahead and register. If Holy Spirit is speaking to you right now, I just encourage you to do that uh, without hesitation. Obey Him because we know that there is blessing in obedience. And so we just can't wait to see you guys. We can't wait to see what happens. Uh, We can't put this conference in a one sentence description. We're just excited to see what happens as we're obeying and just making this thing happen. Totally. And and I feel like there's going to be a major impartation that happens. I mean, we're going to have Lakeview's worship team. Cody, Julie Oliver and and Justin and Paige Ryan. And then we've got... Uh, Joy Hutchings, who's done stuff with Upper Room, is going to be here. Yeah. Some of our, uh, you know, youth students that have now went on yeah. and and been a been a major part of our lives. Uh, we're gonna so we're it's kind of like we're bringing all these people back to really. Uh, so so I think it's going to be it's going to be excited. it's going to be awesome worship too. Just being in His presence as well as the the speaking. So we hope you guys have caught the heart and the vision Absolutely. of what's happening here and. Uh, We hope that you join us for Sons and Daughters Conference 2023.